Hi everyone, uh, myself uh, Dr. Arun. Uh, today we are going to discuss about a balanced slope deductor. This is the one of the type of uh, FM deductor. It is also called as the, uh, balanced frequency discriminator. Now we are going to discuss about the FM balanced slope deductor. So the fundamentals uh, related with the balanced slope deductor we are discussed in the slope deductor video. So those who are uh, interested to know about the slope deductor operation, you can uh, refer the previous video. Now we are going to uh, discuss about the balanced slope deductor. As per this balanced slope deductor also used to deduct the message signal from the frequency modulated signal. The fundamental principle operation of uh, balanced slope deductor is whatever may be the frequency variation available in the uh, frequency modulated output that will be converted as amplitude variation then that uh, particular amplitude modulated signal will be uh, applied towards envelope deductor then finally we are getting the message signal this is the overall outline of the operation of balanced slope deductor so here uh, the primary side of the transformer and the secondary side of the transformer is available here the first tuned circuit tuned to carrier frequency FC and secondary of uh, first or upper tuned circuit is tuned to FC plus del F and lower tuned circuit is tuned to FC minus del F. So here the R1 and R1 and C1 similar manner R2 and C2 the both the set of RC circuits are used for filtering purpose to eliminate the ripples. So here the final output is V01 and V02 because of uh, the slope deductor 1 is V01 and the slope deductor 2 is V02. The net output is difference between V01 and V02. This entire balanced slope deductor we are going to discuss with three different modes of operation to understand how the balanced slope deductor is working a working operation of the circuit the circuit operation can be explained by dividing the input frequency into three ranges as follows so the first mode of operation we are going to discuss now the first mode of operation we are considering the input signal is unmodulated carrier frequency so fin is equal to fc i am assuming 100 megahertz is the corresponding input frequency or carrier frequency or unmodulated carrier frequency so here that unmodulated carrier frequency applied towards primary of the transformer so due to mutual induction the first tuned circuit and second tuned circuit both are generating the equal potential across D1 and D2 because both the potentials are equal in D1 and D2 it will generate the corresponding voltage V01 and V02 both the potentials are equal but opposite in polarity the net output is zero net output of the circuit is zero if the input is unmodulated carrier or equivalent to carrier frequency. So here we can see when you are going to apply the unmodulated carrier here I am considering because of the slope deductor one the net output voltage is plus five and the lower uh, slope deductor or slope deductor two generating the output voltage as minus five volt. So when we take the difference between plus five and minus five the net output is zero. This is also explained by using the S shape curve. So here the center point is represented F is equal to FC. So input frequency is equal to carrier frequency. Input to diode D1 and D2 are equal. V01 is equal to V02. The net output is zero. So the Y axis is represented output voltage. So because of input frequency is FC, the output voltage is zero. So now we are moving to the second mode of operation. In this uh, second mode of operation, we are considering the input frequency is FC plus del F. So more than 100 megahertz, more than 100 megahertz in your frequency modulated signal, the maximum frequency deviation is allowed is 75 kilohertz. So that's why del F I mentioned as 75 kilohertz. So 100 plus 75 kilohertz. This is achieved during positive cycle of message signal at the transmitter side. So he this particular part I am considering as FC plus del F. 
So this particular frequency we are going to apply towards the balance uh, slope detector. Here the FC plus del F, the upper tuned circuit is already tuned to FC plus del F and the lower tuned circuit is tuned to FC minus del F. So here uh, whenever we are applying the input frequency as FC plus del F, this upper tuned circuit already in the resonant condition you will get the maximum output voltage so here it is not a resonant condition because the input frequency is fc plus del f but here we are tuned to fc minus del f because of that we will get a max the maximum potential across diode d1 compared with d2 so in this particular situation we will get a maximum positive voltage due to uh, upper slope deductor 1 so the V01 is maximum positive and V02 is uh, corresponding negative voltage. So he, this is minus 3 we are represented approximately. For explanation purpose I mentioned as plus 8 and minus 3. The net output uh, difference of uh, two voltages. So plus 8 and minus 3 the resultant output we are expecting as 5 volt positive. So during high frequency input signal, you are getting the positive output. So here in the S shape curve representing in the positive cycle, if the frequency is gradually increasing, the maximum frequency we are considered as FC plus del F. In this corresponding situation, the input to the diode D1 is higher than input to the diode D2. V01 is greater than V02, the net output is positive. This is the second mode of operation. Next, we are going to discuss about the third mode of operation. In this uh, third mode of operation, the input frequency we are considering FC minus del F. This is because of negative cycle of message signal at the transmitter side or during the modulation. So here I am considering 100 megahertz is the unmodulated carrier minus 75 kilohertz. That is the corresponding frequency approximately I am mentioning. So this particular part we are going to deduct whatever may be the frequency variation present in this particular part we have to convert it as voltage. So here the, the, this particular FC plus del F frequency applied towards the primary of the transformer. In the secondary you can see the two tuned circuits are available. So the lower tuned circuit exactly tuned to input frequency this tuned circuit will give maximum response compared with the tuned circuit 1. Because of that uh, corresponding resonant condition, uh, D1, the corresponding D1 potential is high. Hence, the negative output V02 is higher due to D1 is high. And a similar manner, because of uh, D1 potential is very less uh, compared with D2, the net output of V01 is plus 3. That means lesser voltage. So, highest power, negative voltage and lowest positive voltage when we are going to take a difference the resultant output is minus 5. So the same uh, thing is represented here in the S shape curve. So FC is the unmodulated carrier frequency towards this particular direction the frequency is gradually reducing at during your negative cycle the corresponding uh, input to diode D1 is lesser than input to diode D2. V01 is less than V02, the net output is negative. So by using the three different mode of operation, we are able to generate a positive cycle, negative cycle of the message signal by using balanced slope detector. So here uh, the balanced slope detector having advantages and disadvantages. This circuit is more efficient than simple slope detector. It has better linearity than simple slope detector. The linearity is good in balanced slope detector. The drawbacks of balanced slope detector is even though the linearity is good, it is not good enough. We have to improve a lot. So by doing some other technique. So this circuit, another drawback is this circuit is difficult to tune since the three tuned circuits are tuned to three different frequencies. One is FC, another one is FC plus del F, another one is FC minus del F. The final drawback is amplitude limiter is not provided. Because if any amplitude variation present in the frequency modulated signal, 
that will not be considered and eliminated by using balanced slope detector. This will increase the noise level at the receiver side. Thank you for watching this video. We will meet again with uh, another detector in this particular topic. So uh, try to like, comment, share this video. Thank you all.